I like to see people succeed. I believe in youth. I believe in creating opportunity. I knew that I wanted to use my hands, create things, design things. It was very interesting to me. So I did very well in math and sciences. And in high school, you're wondering, what are you going to do next? And because I have a father who is an engineer and a mother really supporting science, they both said, well, why don't you give engineering a shot? I love that the engineering profession is so broad that it gives you tools to do whatever you like. I've been able to problem solve situations. I've been able to think about how to attack problems and look at a process flow to understand where my critical roadblock might be and how you overcome it. So all these skills has evolved to becoming what I can do today and it all came from engineering. I feel very compelled to do my part to leave the world a better place than, uh, than when I'm here. And it's something that has been growing inside of me since high school. I think in university, it really forged for me in terms of realizing that I actually could get involved. I actually could make uh, a difference. And then I've just been really seeking out ways of how to do that more and more. Community leaders like Marisa Sterling are so invaluable to our work. Not only did Marisa personally pick up a hammer and help us with our builds, but she also has mobilized other young female engineers to do the same by participating in our annual Women Build program since 2013. ZooShare is North America's first community-funded biogas plant and it's a vision towards renewable energy and it's a vision towards a more environmentally conscious society and it's also a vision of engaging community, engaging people in making this happen. Marissa's contribution to ZooShare has been uh, far beyond just the financial commitment she made when we first met. She had stood for the board of directors, she has volunteered in a number of different capacities, and she has also networked with other ZooShare members to add value to the projects that they're working on. So it's been a very far-reaching commitment that's been greatly appreciated. What I've admired about her is her ability to maintain a good balance between excellence at work, excellence in her volunteer, and excellence at home. The Ontario Professional Engineers Foundation for Education is such a wonderful outcome of the work of some PEO presidents over 50 years ago, and I'm so honoured to be able to work with them. She provides leadership to the board of directors. Uh, she's involved in planning and organizing the various committees of the board. She has launched initiatives to improve our fundraising, to increase the value of the scholarships that we award and to improve our outreach to members of the profession and to students. I always see that there's something more that can be done. There is a way to make things better. They say that uh, time, talent and treasures are three important things to share with the world and I'm happy to do that.